Hello and welcome back to Revendurin Sports and today's cycling tip. There are a series of videos that I will be doing about uh, cleaning my Bianchi and the post race slash event report. But as I was cleaning it, I thought about something. There was another bike that I had in here for repairs. It was a Shimano R9100 shifter and an R9100 front derailleur. And the lever push was so significant that my customer, a 60 plus year old gentleman, I think he's actually 69. He, when he took the bike to ride it, he was like, hey, this, the shifting doesn't work. And it was a brand new cable, brand new housing, brand new front derailleur. And I was like, well, I just shot a video showing how well it shifted. I went through every step and confirmed it while shooting it for the video for this channel. Well, he brought it back. I put a new cable in, still didn't, sh uh, the lever action was still really strong. So then instead of using a stainless steel cable, I decided to use the Shimano uh, Teflon coated cable, polymer coated cable. And I know that some of you have shown or have spoken about your dislike of these cables. And this is one of them right here. And this is probably one of the reasons why some of you don't like them. But I think it was just based on the angle from which the cable was coming out of the bottom bracket and anchoring to the front derailleur. And some of you might recall that the previous generation front derailleurs from Shimano, the 9000, would have a little um, anchor or a little piece that on your, the way you anchored it depended on what angle the cable was coming from. So this is what I'm talking about. So if you look here, Based on how the cable is coming, then you move this piece to one side or the other. And it was based on using one of these gauges. So when you would take your cable, and depending on what side of this center line here, then you would move this to one side or the other. So you can imagine that right there, right? And, you know, usually I'm like, well, that's just a bunch of hooey. Do we really need to use a $20 Durace uh, XTR polymer coated cable? Well, here's today's cycling tip. Yes. Yes, you do. Depending on how that frame is um, how that cable comes out of that bottom bracket and anchors onto that front derailleur. I was a non-believer. So many bikes, you can just use a standard stainless, well, a stainless steel cable is not standard, but a stainless steel cable and I had slick lube housing, Jaguar uh, product. But once I put on that polymer coated cable, that hard level lever push was gone. So anyway, that's today's cycling tip. Please tell me, especially if you're mechanics, uh, either home mechanics or shop mechanics, what has been your experience with using a stainless steel cable on some bikes and realizing that the lever push is too hard. And especially I have it's 70% of my customers, 70, 80% of my customers are women. So, you know, on that mechanical drivetrain, you want to get a nice, very um, soft lever push, which is indicative of a Durace uh, front derailleur and uh, Durace shifter. Okay, that's all for today. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you up the road.